If you remember back to Monday, we were talking about how straight line winds can be as strong and destructive as tornadic winds, and they are the result of the sinking motion within the thunderstorm. That's known as the downdraft, but specifically, the strong winds that we see produced by that downdraft are known as a downburst, and they produce damaging wind gusts on or just above the ground. So here's what's going on within the thunderstorm whenever we see these straight line winds being produced. In the mid and upper level parts of the thunderstorm, the wind is moving very fast. And as the rain continues to fall, sometimes that swiftly moving air is also brought down to the surface too. So it me that means it's sinking very rapidly. And once it hits the ground, it actually begins to curve back on itself. That's known as directional shear as the wind is changing direction with height. And that's where we begin to see those damaging wind gusts being produced. And the damage pattern that we talked about is more of a flattening rather than a scattering that we see with tornadoes. And oftentimes the damage can be confused with a microburst. And that's one of the damage patterns that we see where the damage area is less than 2.5 miles. These strong storms usually last anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes with wind gusts as high as 168 miles per hour. Meanwhile, a macroburst covers a larger area, can last a little bit longer, but the wind gusts are not quite as strong. So now you know, for 5 News, I'm meteorologist Jill Swed.